Hello YouTube, um, I just received this in the mail just a few minutes ago, it is my new V-Cube 7. Um, so far it's, well, technically it's the only 7x7 you can legally get, so there's not much comparison to it obviously, but it turns really, really nice. Better than my, I have a Rubik's 5x5 and that's the biggest cube I had before, and this is much better than a store-bought 5x5 obviously. Um, one of the cooler things is, you know, it spins. That's kind of neat if I can get it right. So, uh, all the stickers seem to be pretty good quality. Uh, if they go bad, I'll just get, uh, cubes from the stickers for it. Uh, there's the V symbol on there. It's very heavy, but it's smaller than I expected. It always looked really big on the internet, but it isn't very big. Here's a quarter in comparison to it. So, it's actually pretty small. It's about the same size as maybe the Rubik's Professor Cube, um, which is, it's pretty nice. Uh, good weight, considering how many pieces it has. It's a very nice puzzle overall. Uh, it cuts corners okay. There, I don't know if you can see that. There. Can cut a whole cubie. Color scheme. No white side because, you know, V-Cubes always have the black, yellow. I like the blue on this. It's a very bright blue. Green's very bright. Red, orange. Overall, it's a uh, it's sort of like the Goo Hong with the... I guess it's why V-Cubes sued uh, Diane or they filed a patent claim or something. Because the edge pieces are split into two, sort of like theirs. Corners apparently have a similar shape. I haven't taken this apart and I probably won't. It seems lubricated. Although, maybe for curiosity. Uh, so, oh, it came with this pamphlet. Packaging was nice. So, there's a, a Pat or Panagiotis Verdes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Cool guy. Some information for their, uh, they also have things like uh, product placement stuff. For their illusion, 6x6, six 5x5, six, five five, and 7x7. Seven seven. Here's assembly instructions. I'm not sure why they're in here. It's already assembled. I guess it's for if you want to take it apart. Uh, it says like the number of possible combinations. A little bit about the V-Cube 7. Picture of the pieces. Uh, patent, product, patent numbers. And uh, ages 8 and up. So uh, that's it. Here's the new V-Cube 7. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day.